Hey everyone, my name's Jacob. And my name's Alex. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. So we're going straight into Battle Rock. Oh, Top Maniac and the Top Man Trap. This, this is pretty much the most pathetic boss in the game. Just saying. We said that about a few bosses so far. No, they're not pathetic. They're easy, but not pathetic. Topman is pathetic. Well, what makes Topman pathetic, Jacob? You don't remember? I haven't played this game in a while. Wow, okay. Hey. I forget. Oh, the pulsar. So, um, now that now that we're hopefully done with fail, um, I could start talking about E3. Um, at the time of this recording, now, uh, E3 was, uh, finished yesterday. So, I was really impressed with Nintendo, and their Wii U announcement, like, I did not expect half the stuff they included with it, but, that, that's Nintendo, they, they just make unique stuff, and I want that. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, whenever we go silent, that means someone's walking past and we feel too awkward to be talking to no one. <laughs> well, it's not completely well, I mean, no it's one. It's kind of like we're talking to each other, but not really. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're just talking to seven people on the internet in the future. Seven? I think that's a little optimistic. Um, seven two of them being us. Uh, who are the other five? Well, like... There's my cousin, there's Gary, there's the other two. Uh, our, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Alright, gotcha. Ow. Oh. oh, no! We, we do recognize if you subscribe, like... Like, don't think your subscription goes unappreciated. speed running there. This gravity is just a poopy head. Oh, Don't no. think you can make this one shot. I mean, you can make it one shot, but you will die. Ugh. And this guy's bouncy. Yeah, but... uh, you gotta jump off the wall! Or that. Yeah. Green pot. And Back to the awesome music. They, they made a pressure down. plane. They made a pressure plane sensitive to someone who bounces off that guy's head. They knew someone was coming. Which kind of shows they're serious, but not really. As they have such an obvious weakness of spinning. There we go. And gravity changes because that door opens. And we explode everything. We, we, we just blew up like two rocks in a Yeah, room. by flying. Yep. Okay. And they give you so much health, I don't know why. There's like five units of health there. All you have to do is jump on Topman's head. I remember Spin. him. Yep, he's pretty pathetic. Rinse, repeat. Don't forget the lather. And now he's like, oh, I'm mad. I'm going to bring out my better guys. Like, oh, sorry, man. You're still pathetic. Ouch. That's it. There we go. That took all of four minutes. Alright, so Alex, I guess you're doing the Bowser level. Yay! It's worked out pretty well that uh, Bowser levels switch off every time, so that's nice. Really? Yeah, I did the last one. No, I don't have enough data to conclusively conclude that. Never mind. Well, Bowser fight, yes, but 
boss and fights, no. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's just like our possible solution. Yeah, I was thinking about it. So, eighth grade, we, we were special and got to do biology eighth grade when most uh, when uh, most eighth graders are stuck doing earth science, but we did a seventh grade long story. We're, we're special and smart. Mostly special. Yeah. That's what my mommy calls me. <laughs> so, um... Our biology teacher, Mrs. B, not going to disclose her full name, uh, she made us do a project. How to make bread the best it could be. It was Sourdough bread. Sourdough bread, yes. Wait, which, which already is the best it can be, which is not that good. I like sourdough bread. Oh. I, I think it tastes like crap. I, I think it tastes like someone shoved bread up their anus and pulled it out. Uh, okay, so anyway. She like how to make bread the best it could be. So it was mainly about alcoholic fermentation. That's one oh. way to do it. <laughs> Crap, where'd I go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, alcoholic fermentation. So uh, you were you were mainly supposed to explain like the the life process behind it, like the yeast uh, fermenting alcohol. But Alex uh, started typing. And please explain what you wrote. For our possible solution, we could possibly do a solution that could possibly solve the problem. By doing a possible solution that could possibly solve the problem, our possible solution could be a possible solution to the problem that we must solve. Therefore, by making our possible solution possible, the solution could possibly solve the problem which could possibly be solved by our possible solution which would possibly be made possible by the fact that it is a possible solution. It was something to that effect. And you could repeat that forever and it'll still make yeah, sense. Yeah, I made like a loop such that it can go right back into the beginning of it. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Yeah, we, we did like three pages of that. We, we were going to make our friend Yak read it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's... oh, no. So anyway, Wait, no. We, we were going to make our friend read it and we, we were also going to put some pretty funny stuff in it like... We were gonna just write right in the middle of the sentence, hippopotamus. Wait, what? But no, we we don't want F's, cause then we'd fail the class and have to take it again in high school. That, which would be terrible. Yes. What well, well, once was more than enough with that more class. More than enough, like. And ju just the fact that I'm going to have to take it again in college just sends shivers down. Well, my you, spine. you could also do AP bio. But... No, fuck that. Uh, okay. But anyway. Oh, no! no! But we didn't want to fail, so we wrote an actual presentation, and, like, Yak didn't want to uh, work on it, because he had some stupid, uh, what did he have to do? I don't even you know. It, it was probably something he made up. It was, oh, I gotta, I gotta go, um... Get off, get off. Masturbate. Get off. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he's like, oh no, guys, I don't want to present to either. Like, thanks. Yeah, you're, should, you're really a good partner. I'm so glad I'm in your group. We should have just told Mrs. B and given him zero. Yeah, because he did no work. All, all he did was help us film a video that he never even sent me so I could post on YouTube. <laughs> so thanks for nothing, Sam. Well, well, so I did most of the intellectual work for the paper, and I had to present it, so... I did a hundred percent, almost like ninety percent of the work. I did the other ten. Yeah. Uh, no, I did fifteen, and Sam did like negative five by making the <laughs> video. Like, did we have in class time to work on it? I forget. Yeah, that's when we made the video. Oh, we did. That's right. And if we, did if we can, none of that. You if we can ever recover that video, we'll post it. No, uh, we won't. No, you, you post it on your channel. I'm not posting it here. Fine, I'll post it on my channel. But if I ever recover that video, I'll, po I'll post it. My channel is FritzDude69, and it's the best it. channel name ever. It has. We have a link to it on our channel. Well then. So anyway, we used zero of that work in class. So it was a w big waste of time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one did the work, and and also one one girl thought it would be funny to put a tampon in my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I remember that. And then Sam didn't know what it was, so he pulled it out. <laughs> and he's like, "I thought it was a pen." 
And then he threw it on the ground. And, and then, he, and then he, we asked him what a tampon was, and he was like, oh, it's a condom for girls. He, he really said that? He, he did. Wow. We, we asked him in English the next day. And so, <laughs> uh, S- Sam is pretty clueless. <laughs> you finally made it. Just in time for me to stop you in the space pit. And he controls gravity. Yep. Okay, if I can remember how to do this. Uh, when he jumps, you gotta go under him. Yeah. Nope. Right there. So the main main thing of this is when he goes up the jump. Right there we go. Okay, I got it now. He's gonna turn around and nope. He's he's gonna burn his ass on the lava, and then you have to hit his fiery ass tail. And then you spin, and then he's, then he's, you have to spin again, and then he gets hurt and releases star bits. And he roars, and then he comes at you again, and he's pissed. And he has new moves, like fireball shooting. And then he makes more lines that hurt you. Like wow. That. Okay. And just stay there, and then run away. You're gonna, you want to run to the opposite side of him. Then hit him, then he spins around the entire planet, and no, no, no. Spin uh, and one more time, right? Think, yeah. Standard three hit boss five. Uh, you might want to get a coin. Nah. All right. Just don't die. And, and he oh, burned my his bro. Uh, uh, oh, he was so stupid. I'm gonna give him my tail. Then uh, spin, and then he goes around again, and then there we go. That's it. Maybe hope. Uh, that's it. Yep. <laughs> Face plants. What? How? Foolish Mario, my plan is far too long now. You think you can stop me? Far too <laughs> long. Shut up. Spin and disappear. And <laughs> He, he explodes, and then the Grand Star was in the planet. <gasps> oh, so close. Oh! No. Oh! Ha. It's a good thing player two can make a jump. Da, 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 da. You got a Grand da, da. Star! And it looks all happy. And then... Doesn't look happy, he doesn't have a mouth. I meant the, the, the planet observatory looks happy. Of course you did. Sure. And now the star apparently turns green. Yeah. Are there even... Yeah, there are flame, bl- uh, green flames, which you just have to add... Add the right solutes. Not, not solutes, solute. the right... Flamute. Flamute? Yep. That sounds like something that would come out of your nose when you have a really bad cold. Alright, so after uh, completing the fountain as far as we can go right now, um, we're going to call this an episode. See you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Uh, th- uh, see you in the next one.